hello welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back and as always huge massive thank you for the support i really do appreciate appreciate each and every one of you so just the last play with the kit from magazine 76 this highland highland wildlife and today we're coming in i'm actually going to be using the rabbit and the cat but i've said before how much i love this little scotty and this looks exactly like my little pippin did but let's pop that to the side for a second and if I bring in the school board and both of these cards are going to end up being six by six or at least fit in the six by six envelope so I'm going to bring in a piece of six by twelve on there so you can see it six by twelve um 300 gsm white cardstock and this I got from Paper Cuts um, and I got it pre-cut to size this time. So I think it was 200 sheets of 6x12 for something like £14 or £14.99, something like that. Um, so it's only like a, a pound extra than, than buying the 6 by no, the 12 by 12 and cutting it yourself. So um, I just thought I'd save myself a job. So the first card I'm going to do is with the cat and I'm going to do a reverse easel. So I'm going to start by scoring at that six inch mark and I'm also going to score at the three inch mark. Okay, so um, if I, let's do it the way I normally do it, I button it up against there, just make sure that crease is nice and straight. And then that one will come down. And I have to warn you, my hands are a little bit not acting as they should do today they're a little bit weak for some reason so i apologize if i drop things or don't quite score things the first time let's give that a little uh, press down so i'm going to bring in my uh, cutting tool let's just take those bits out from my little play the other day and i'm going to pop this in and i'm going to take an inch off it so this is kind of inspired by a card that I saw on the um, Hunky Jewelry website. So it's actually going to be a shorter easel or at least have a shorter angle. Okay, so effectively you've got um, three inches across there, three inches and then two inches there. And obviously you've got your inch at the bottom. Okay, so let's bring in some gold memory cards. So I need to do a piece for the bottom, which is going to be my usual two notches off each side. And two notches off that side there. And that should fit quite nicely onto the bottom. Checking that's nice and even. Okay, it looks okay. And then I need a piece for here. So rather than use um, a whole piece up, let me just grab that one off cut here that I've got from another project that I was doing. And if I cut that to two notches under the six, and then I need that to be two notches under the two and then that should fit quite nicely onto there and it does and I've still got another piece that I can use another time right so for the cat I'm going to bring in the foiled cardstock and I'm going to start by um, cutting this at five and three quarters because I know that um, my next layer on here width ways is going to be five and three quarters and then I can take that to a five and three quarters again for the base which should fit quite nicely onto this gold mat again we've got that gold foil in so we're just tying those foil ins together and then this piece needs to be um, one and three quarters I think I'll try and do it this way rather than that way. It's just going to be easier to keep that straight. Just checking that I've got that nice and 
있고 I think I need a new blade on my cutter because it's starting to get a bit feathery at the top. What I'm going to do is just turn that around for the meantime. So I have got a little piece there that we'll keep, maybe use it on another card. Let's just turn that around because mostly I use it one way. Um, so I'm hoping the blade is a little sharper on the other side. Okay. So let's bring these in. So what I'm going to do before I put any other layers on is just bring on this porcelain folder, bone folder, I think that's what it's called. Someone did say, very kindly. And give that a good burnish down. Now the glues I'm using, same ones I always use. Um, in this thin bottle, the clear is um, the Kalau All Purpose Glue. And use that over the majority and then this is the cloud tacky glue in this corner and I just use that in the corners just to give me a little bit of a quick stick down and to hold my projects in place while I'm working on it so the cloud um, all-purpose glue is a great glue but it has got quite a, a long I say long it's not hugely long but it, it's got quite a long period of time where you can adjust it take it off you know it will go for at least half a minute to a minute sometimes even longer if it's a bit cooler in here so by putting that tacky glue on the side on the corners rather um, what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that stay and put where I put it um, while I move on to the next piece so hopefully um, what should happen is when I'm putting this piece on um, it shouldn't then when I try and adjust this against the gold, the whole thing shouldn't slide. It should just be this top piece that I'm working on that I can slide into position because there's nothing worse than the whole project leaning and then um, maybe even going on to the top place and, and then that the whole thing moving again. And when you look at it at the end, it's all skew whiff, which is great if you're going for a skew whiff look. But when you haven't planned it, it's not so great. So I'm just doing the same on these top layers. So I'm matching it all up um, on the actual cardstock. The um, gold is going sort of uh, vertical. Yeah, that's vertical because that's horizontal, isn't it? So um, the um, gold foiling is going vertical. So I'm keeping it vertical. If you wanted to um, not do that, you could have this going, uh, this strip going horizontal along the bottom. And then instead of using this this way, you could maybe steal the green off there and just have a green piece at the top. Um, you could use some of the papers. Oh, I need that back. Um, you know, so there's loads of ways that you could just uh, alter that around for a slightly different look. You know, just because it comes in on the vertical doesn't mean it has to stay on the vertical if that's not the look you're going for. And then I'm just going to pop this one on. And nice even borders. Give it a good press down so that that glue makes contact. And then just ease that back into position and just check that one as well. Okay, so that's the basis of our card as it stands. So we just bring in the toppers. We have our cat. And I am going to use the border as a stopper this time because it's actually got a greeting on of best wishes so that's quite a nice one anyway it means I don't have to put any other sentiment on um, it's purely going to be just a little bit of decoration after that I will use my trimmer to just neaten those up in a minute now where's my scissors gone because I can see there is a bit of a pip coming up there, so let's just get rid of that one and that one. It's got a bit of a mucky muck on the, the foil. So I wasn't planning on using this inside one anyway, but uh, there was a bit of a mucky muck on there, not quite sure how or what that is, whether it came with that or not. It possibly could be, because um, I've had it in several, this kit in several different places, because uh, I haven't wanted to keep it in here just because of the paper. Uh, a lot of the paper not liking um, 
temperature that seems to do all right if it's in an enclosed box so it may be a case that I have to get trays um, to put them in sort of um, I bought, let me show you what I've got these pieces in at the moment I bought these little flat trays from Amazon I can't remember what I paid for them um, at the moment I'm trialling out sort of odd bits of cardstock in there to see because before um, we had the heating on and everything in here um, mum's unit which is the one behind me with all the boxes in um, she that was in here with no heating on and, and the cardstock was not a problem although saying that a lot of it is new or was still in the packaging and was then in a fully locked down box so I'm wondering if that might be the clue to ste um, stealing, to keeping um, cardstock in here quite safely. Okay. So when I saw the one um, that inspired me on Hunky Dory, it did. It was slightly different. So let me just see. So I think. If I do it like that, then that's going to be in the air, and I don't think that's how it was. Okay. Right, let me just have a little rethink on this. Maybe I'll swap this one for the rabbit. And then do a slightly different one. Just what, what, because what, when I saw the one um, on hunky joy maybe I need to relook and see what's happened there maybe I've done something wrong maybe it was like this underneath maybe it was on some acetate so I need to look at the picture again um, but I don't think that frame on its own is going to be enough to support the weight um, to have that so that's still going to fit in a six by six envelope so that's my worry okay so I think what is best for me to do at this point just for a slightly different looking card than I had envisioned you know things change things don't always work out the way you want them to but I think if I use this rabbit on there uh, let's just pop the rabbit out I think the rabbit should be fine and still fit in that uh, a six by six envelope um, but with the shorter border yeah so that's going to be fine I can even come up a bit Okay, so it's slightly different card to what I had imagined. Hey ho. So just uh, pivot and uh, change our little idea. With nothing's gone to waste. So. Okay, so do I want to keep the frame in? No, I think I want a bit of air. Let's have this rabbit. Very proud atop this little. legend I can still use the best wishes it still fits in let me just grab that pip um, ba -ba -ba. there I think that's fine oh, that's fine just scratch down should be fine okay so now we can go ahead and pop this down so I'm going to keep the card flat while I'm doing this and I am just going to grab that there. And I think, I think I'm going to go flat with this first piece. There isn't that a right or a wrong way, is there? Nope, they're all the same. Okay. So, and I'm going to use my um, tacky glue if it's going to give me a nice amount just because I think that's going to be a nice quick grab and it's going to be nice and strong so I'm going to pop that into the middle and I'll give that a good smooth down okay now obviously our little rabbit is going to only have foam pads um, along that little edge there and I'm only going to use one millimetre pads. I did say before that I was going to keep things slightly lower 
just to make it easier for these cards to be sold um because obviously they're all part of my my little challenge that i'm doing and i'll put that one on there so i'm just popping these on where um at the top as i like where i think that will be and then i can come in cut this down a little bit more and pop some more on the bottom and i've put quite a lot on here because this is basically the only support this card uh, this this piece of card is going to have uh, because this is the only bit yeah nearly cut my finger then sorry um it could have been a disaster um because this is the only bit where the card is attached so let's just pop that in there so I've put quite a nice lot in there oops and i haven't done as much card making sort of off the scenes behind the scenes if you will um i did do a couple yesterday i'm not going to be able to take photos of them yet though because i still haven't done those sentiments for those sentiments so i think what i might do rather than making some more cards tonight just go a little bit tired as well because uh, they, they took some blood more blood from me today because they think they know what's affecting me and my memory and things um so they're just monitoring things um, um i've been taking some tablets as well and hopefully yeah, so there's nothing showing on the back so that's perfect and we've got our lovely rabbit coming up on the front okay so what did i do with that border here we go and another good reason to go with one millimeter on, on an easel card like this is because if I'm going to put um, one millimeter on this at the on the bottom, because I'm going to have to raise it up so that it, um, you know, keeps that stuck behind it, if you like. Um, it, it adds so already you've got two millimeter thickness there because that will hold that card up. Okay, so you will have let's say one millimeter there then you'll have the card which is about another millimeter and then you'll have another millimeter there so already you're like three millimeters thick so if you are in a place where um the postage is you know defined by um the you know the card making that you're making defines the cards what am i trying to say the cards that you make is defined by the postage that you'll pay to send them if you get my meaning, I think that's the right way to say it. Um, then, you know, that could be uh, another thing to just keep an eye on. Okay, so I've cut this to um, five and three quarters. So it's matching the length of this patterned border. And then I'm going to take uh, another one or two of these pads. Let's just cut that down a little bit. Um, I did get a new pack of these today, um, the one from the Dome, because I got my delivery of my members free gift, which is, honestly, it's stunning. Um, and I also got my unicorn kit, which is even more stunning, if, if I'm honest with you. But then, who doesn't love a unicorn? Um, yeah, so... Um, I've got a pack of those. I don't know if there's any strips in there. I really ought to have checked before I started doing the video, but hey ho. They're easily cut down anyway. Nobody sees that they've been cut down. So we just got a little pip there. So let's just get rid of that. Right. Yeah, so I, I think I was just saying, see, just taking, they had some blood out of me, so it just makes me really tired. And my arm is killing me. So they're trying to decide whether they need to send me for B12 injections. They don't want to. They say they really hurt. So obviously I don't want them to. I suspect I might have to because um, I only have a small intestine. I don't have a large intestine, so that could be the problem, the digestion. Um, I'm not taking it properly from the food. 
right so you just have to decide where you want that to be so I think I think I can probably go to about halfway so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move that up I'm going to put that flush at that side and then hopefully that should go flush to that side and then if I tilt that up you can see that sits nicely behind there actually I don't even need to do much to hold that it's not flopping that's really quite stable having that shorter bit so that is quite nice um, but just obviously um, something to think about if it's a larger topper but that's there so let's come in with some gems now do I want green gems do I want those gems I think we'll add a bit of sparkle let's have a bit of sparkle I think that would be nice right where's my little tweezers let's grab those ones so from last week not having been able to find any tweezers for some reason now I've got like five pairs here so I don't know what's going on honestly I don't so I think do I want to go with paler green ones and then maybe look for some purple ones oh I can see them right here we've got a couple there look so we could go green on this side and then a couple of purple on there so a bit clear on there so let's just get rid of that so i've got what have i got i've got three large uh yeah large ones in the, the purple so let's go with speedy gonzales here one oops come on you need to come up with two and then I'm going to hop over to these purple ones. Come on. They don't want to play either. One, two, three, and four. And then just to make that little odd one and tie them together. Let's see, where should we put it? Hmm. I don't know if I need it to be honest, but I really want it because I really hate the even numbers. Right, I'm going to have to listen to my inner voice saying leave it. So let's pop that out of the way. And then what I am going to do is bring in my cos uh, Spectrum Noir crisp, uh, Sparkle Overlay Pen. And even though we've got a little bit of foil on there anyway, so I'm just going to come in, let me just check that spot, let me grab a little piece of, yeah, it is now. And the beautiful thing about this one is, it's got like a brush nib, so these little fine bits of grass in the background, which is what I'm just picking up, so it's a bit like a, a jibby morning, you know. So that little bit of sparkle that you get on the land in the morning. And it's just a little touch, hardly going to be seen. If you wanted to go more, you could do the fur, you know, so you sort of wrap it so it's a bit jibby. But I think that is going to be fine. So I can't really show you that on camera. It may pick up when I take the photo. Um, it, when I put it on Pinterest you are able to zoom right in so um, good thing is you'll be able to see probably be able to see the detail like that bad thing is sometimes my layers do look slightly funky because it picks up minutest details when you zoom right in but that is card number one so I'm going to pop that to the side I'll pop it up there Mr Rabbit and then I'm going to come into card number two so we're going to bring our cat back in. So I'm going to go um, for a slightly different um, easel card. I had planned another card for the rabbit. I'll be honest with you. I was going to do like a, a little um, six by six piece of card folded in half um, with bring this piece of card stuck in. Then I would have had it, you know, sort of you know, sort of up to here, and then the rabbit would have been above it. Would have been really lovely but hey ho we're not going to do that now because we've changed direction there's an idea if you wanted to 
um, have a little play with that one. So again, six by 12. Uh, and we're going to come in and score at three and six again. So this is going to be more like um, a normal easel card because we're doing a reverse easel this time. Which was my first thought for this cat topper because I think reverse easels is um, a really great way to make a, a card with these sort of um, long arch toppers. Okay, let's pop that out of the way. And then I'm going to bring in the scoreboard. I might still use this piece. Du, 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 du. How am I going to be able to? I might be able to. So let's do the gold first. Let's not skip ahead because that's how we end up in trouble. So six by six on the bottom, exactly the same as before. our bottom bit um, and then I'm gonna have to use a piece of six by six and cut that at two notches under the three and two notches under the six and that should fit on our top piece there and it does We'll see that for another time. Let's just get that out of the way. And then um, I want a piece that's going to be five and three quarters, which is going to be a base. There's my base come here. And again, we'll just check that fits quite nicely. I just need to trim that down. I think I'll take it from the bottom. That strip of green. So I have got a nice little border of green if I need it. But let's just pop that on there now. That should be quite nice. Yes. Yeah, let's have a look at this piece. Is this piece going to be big enough? No, it's not. So we've got two choices. We can either use a piece from there. Or I can grab some of the papers. Bear with me while I just grab some of the papers. Okay, so I've got this piece, which is the accompanying piece um, from the papers pack. So I'm going to start by cutting this to five and three quarters. And then I'm going to cut that to two and three quarters. And I think I will go with that purple piece there okay and well, the other thing I want to do is just measure this piece here and that's just under four inches so I'm just going to cut two notches under the four and I think this was pretty much six inches but I am going to trim it around anyway Just make that easy and so I can just take a little notch off. Okay. So what I want to do is give this a bit of strength because this will um, need to be the, the piece that's propping up my um, card. So what I, I'm going to do is just lay that over the top. And I want to cut away these pieces here so that they match. And I will just undercut them so that they're just under because that piece is going to be up on the top anyway, so you won't see any terrible cutting. Um, if you are worried, then you can always uh, maybe um, use a, a circle cutter. So have a little experiment to find the right angle. So you can see that's not very um, straight at all. Hopefully when I overlay this over, unless I need to trim a little bit more, I do at the top. So let's just go. Just take that 
angle and uh, take that square bit off and round. Let's see now, that should be perfect. Yeah. Just going to take that hard corner off. This is one of those things that you can sit and fiddle about with or faff with for ages. I think we're all right on the other side. Yeah, I'll just take that hard corner on the other side just to, it's not showing, but it's just going to make things easier in the long run. Okay, so I'm going to come in before I do any of the other bits and I'm going to use my tacky glue because it's going to stick real, st really strong and really quick for me. I'm putting this see, glue so quick it glues before it even comes out the bottle. Where's my little pin? Come here. It's because it's getting low. I still haven't sorted out any replacement. I keep hoping. Oops, a bit there. Keep hoping I'm gonna find a bottle because at one point I had loads of them. Um, but I haven't yet. There we go, it's just a bit long there, it's warm. And then we can come over with this, it doesn't really matter which side we go on. All we need to do is just make sure that is completely hidden behind there. Just move that up a little bit there. I think we're good. Okay, so I can pop that to the side. Don't have to worry about that. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, let me just make sure this is not blocked up inside. So bear with me, sorry, I don't usually do this on camera. But sometimes you just get like a little bit glue off underneath here and it sort of gets a bit stuck up like I say with it being um, getting a bit low it's sort of more air seems to be stored in it I need to maybe think about storing it upside down while it's until it gets sorted but that's uh, a later problem so right let's go with our layer so same as we usually do um, all purpose glue in the middle um, and this is a beautiful glue it glues like um, it sets like concrete um, as you will know if you get any coming out of the bottle and drying on the lid you'll be able to peel it away it is really glues to a hard substance so it really does strengthen your card the only downside to it and there is only one downside to it is that it can take the shine off your um, mirror or um, your pearlized papers, any card of a special finish, you just have to be a little bit careful with, which is why I don't go right to the edges with it and why I use this on the corners. So I don't like corners to pop up. So, like I said about um, rotating it, that's what I'm going to do in this case because it's going to make more sense that way. And then we can bring that over. I should have used my band fold. I might be a little bit too late now. We've got our layers on, but let's just do that now with that one. And again, just going to do the same thing. can but because we're going to have that bit coming up it's really not going to make a difference and I'm going with the um, plain side on this one um, because it's the paper I'm going to use my glue dots rather than the wet glue because the wet glue can rock up your paper if you know what I mean so I can just sort of float that into position still and then once I'm happy A 
press down and those blue dots all connect. Okay, so you've got a slightly different look on there, but you could do that with the other card if you wanted to. Okay, but it's looking quite nice so far. So then we've got this piece here. So I think I'm going to come to the side. And again, I am going to glue it flat. I will trust my uh, all-purpose glue with this piece because it is a bigger piece. Come on now. This just lasts through one video. Okay, bear with me two seconds. Okay, so um, I've got the um, Premier glue pen instead just to do these edges. And I find it's, it's not a bad glue, but it is slightly wetter than the um, Cloud All Purpose. No, Cloud Tacky. But I think it's going to be fine for this because we've got that All Purpose on there anyway. So I'm just going to pop that on. Get that good press down. Just double check I've not got anything on the other side. And then actually I'll bring that down a little bit because I want it to go in the envelope. So we are going to come just over that edge. Again we can't see anything. But that is that piece stuck on. Okay so I think I think I'm going to go with the one millimetre pads on here. Actually, I can use the little tiny ones, so I know it takes a little bit of time to put these on. Actually, they're going to be too fat. Let's go back to these. At least we can cut these to size. So I'm just going to cut this into super narrow little strips. So I've got five out of one pad there. I'm just going to Listen, and I'm using this gold layer just to really hide the white. If you don't mind the white, um, you can leave it or you can come in with, um, you know, sort of the back of that card behind there. So when you've done the white, cut it to size, put that on um, and then put this um, layer on, this, this uh, outer layer on and then you'll have that nice coordinated look. Okay, so I'm just going to grab some more of these. You can see how many times I cut into these. These ones are slightly longer. But again, they are the one millimetre, one millimetre pads. do move quite nicely they do um, go around corners and if you are struggling to get them to go around corners what you can do is um, take both sides off although it does make them a little bit stickier and a little bit harder to handle once all of the backings off they are really really flexible so let's just cut that one down again I think I don't need quite as much on there Oh, I do need some on the bottom. So, hello, George. George has come to say hello. Hello, man. What are you doing? It's not time for your walk yet. No. There's too many people about. You won't like it. He gets a bit anxious when he sees other people. Um, and other dogs, so this time of year it's sort of a slightly later walk because uh, you, you have all this sort of kids out at four four till about five and then bang on six o'clock you've got people coming walking the dogs after coming home so you just have to pick the right moment with him yeah he, uh, he's got a love-hate relationship well yeah it is a love-hate relationship with the little Yorkie on the the corner we call a princess I don't know if that's her real name but um, they there used to be two schnauzers there when Mo lived there but she uh, got a little re retirement place 
Um, um, and now there's a, a young, I think they're Polish couple living there. Anyway, they've got this little Yorkie and it shoves its snout out under the gate and it's quite yappy anyway. But uh, George's main joy in life is going past the gate and yarking at this dog. And if he if you catch if he catches you unawares, he'll uh, you know get his nose under the gate and have a go at her. Uh, oh my god, the noise! He's so naughty. And oh, he's he's a bugger really because what he does is. If he's out in the garden and he hears that she's out, then he'll start moaning for a walk. And if it's around about the right time, obviously you, you take him. But now we've got a bit wise to what he's up to. Right, okay. So now I'm going to decide, do I want that to go? If I pop that in and that goes down, yeah, it's going to look okay. So I'm going to go flat with that one if I can get it back out. There we go. And I'm just going to go in with the color purpose with this. I'm not even going to bother with any tacky glue or white glue, should we call it? The, the hunky dory premier glue. All right, okay, so then we've got that little layer there. So it, you sort of come, it's flat, and then it goes up, and then it goes back down. So you've still got that bit of. Um, variation there. Now uh, let's have a look at these sentiments that we've got and see what we can use as a stopper. We've got many happy returns, wishing you a wonderful time, adventure awaits. I think I might go with wishing you a wonderful time because it's quite a nice big chunky one. And it's going to show up nice against there. So let's put that out of the way. Let's grab those one millimetre thing foam pads and stand that up. And scissors are hiding. Okay, it's just his birthday today, so she's I think she's had quite a good day. Although she did get up early because. Um, I did make quite a lot of noise this morning when I, before I went out. I had to be at the doctor's for like half past nine. And um, because I've got no car now, because I can't drive it. Well, I can drive it, it's just that I forget how to drive it while I'm going along, which is a bit of a problem. Um, or was a bit of a problem, which is why it's gone. Um, I had to walk down there. And uh, it's, it's quite a distance 20 minute walk, 30 minute walk. I was up early, so she was up early because I was being quite noisy having a shower and stuff. Okay, so I'm just popping that into the middle, hoping that's not going to wiggle about too much with that wet glue. Now it seems to be holding it quite nicely. And then we need to come to gems again. So we could go with some, oops, clear ones. We could go with green again. I want to go different, something different. And I've got some silver ones there. Got more of those glittery purple ones. Mm, let's see. What else have we got? We've got some little purple, like jemmy ones, like the glass ones. Have I got any bigger version of those? Sorry, I know it's annoying for me to rustle. So we've got those ones. And I'm not sure. There's no purple ones in there. Okay, let's look at these ones. Oops. Let's see if they're a matching colour. If they're a matching colour, then we're probably going to get away with it. Come here. And these again would have come from AliExpress. But these are probably more nail gems. So to have. These are real tiny ones. Come on, turn over. I have a different purple. Bear with me two seconds. Let me just have a little root from a drawer. I know I've got some more of these little wheels. Okay, so I found these ones instead. So in one tray, you've got all the different sizes and they are all the same shade. 
don't think we're going to need to go down quite that small but let's have a little think how do we want these to go so bear with me I'm just going to take a drink of water and I'm going to grab my little yuppie tool now are you going to behave long enough to put gems on or no let's see Ooh, that's not being very good Ooh, top's come off my pin that looks dangerous well no, that's not good at all is it I think the answer to that question is obviously no no now we've gone and done it right okay so that is no good at all now okay so we will have to go with this and we'll have to hope for the best i think just slightly concerned it comes out a bit fast um is there a little tray i can put it on let's try one of my little the trays unless mum's little tray is here no okay so i'm going to pop it on here i just think that's going to come out a bit fast for putting my gems on and i don't want a huge massive blob and then i'll use my wax tool just to pop a little bit of glue on the page okay now we can think about gems sorry about that I might cut that bit out if I do then apologize it's just me messing around with the glue because the glue is broken okay so let's just pop a little bit there a little bit there still quite chunky see a little bit there and then we're going to come in with the Quite a small gem really I suppose. But I don't want it to be too these are really blingy. Very nice. Lovely dark purple as well. Okay, so yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's pop those behind there don't think they're going to move and then I'm going to come in with a bigger piece of glue there and I'm going to go for one of these real chunky ones look at that that's a really big one and then a bit more glue there and next size down and then next size down again so i'm really liking mixing up the sizes of my gems on, on before i like some of my earlier cards you'll see that i just use one size of gems on the whole thing or sometimes i'll like sort of do a gradient down to a smaller size but i am um, lately i have been doing um sort of mixing up the sizes a bit no rhyme or reason to it just really just what i'm feeling at the time so we've got a three six seven so i think that is enough for there um do we need anything else just slightly concerned that they're not quite as even as i would like yeah i think that's fine okay and those are okay and that one's fine although it's moved a little bit okay so that is it for today so that's the final card let me just show you that one again another easel i was going to do a reverse easel wasn't i oh, oh sorry so we've got two easel cards so different easels but at least you see two different so apologies so what i was supposed to do was I fold that the other way so that would go the other way and then the topper would come on down on top so but I forgot midway so I'm sorry it's still a nice card um you know it's still um a pretty card but it's just not quite the look I was looking for 
So I've not got anything I wanted out of either of my cards, but I've ended up with two okay cards, so I'm happy. Um, so, and this is what happens with my memory. It, it just, I start off on one track and then go somewhere else completely different. But that's that one finished. So as you can see, if I try and hold these up together, let's pick that one up first. Uh, and you can see the different look just by having that sh slightly shorter um, piece there, which I've never done before, but I did like the kind of look of it, but it's different to how I saw it on um, one of the Hunky Dory um, sites there. So I'm going to have to revisit that and have another look so I can try it again. And maybe next time I'll do a reverse easel instead. So maybe that's a little thing to put on my little list of things to do. So apologies. I told you I was going to do a reverse easel and then I didn't. Hey ho. Um, so that is it for me playing with the Highland Village. Um, no, Highland Wildlife, sorry. Um, so next time I'm going to be coming back with the club gift, the fairies. Um, in fact, for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be in the land of mystics because after I've done the fairies, I'm going to do the beautiful um, unicorn kit, which is um, holographic foiling. So it's really beautiful and I can either use silver or I can use, um, I have got some of the Miracard special with the hologram, so um, I can use that in, as well. Um, these are the only two cards that are going up on my Pinterest. Like I said at the beginning, I think um i do need to do some foiling i still haven't got around to it i may do that today and then i can have a good play tomorrow um use up the rest of this kit because there is um so we've got the owl and my scotty which i want to make a card to sort of go up in here and i've got this beautiful piece with the rabbit as well so that's obviously going to make a really nice card um even on its own um, and I've still got some of the papers left as well, sort of buried under bits and pieces here as I've worked along. Um, but next next time it's going to definitely be the fairies, so um, that's going to be fun. They are very nice looking fairies. Um, they're not kiddie fairies, they are grown up fairies. So I think they're ideal for any sort of teenager who still loves fairies. There are quite a few out there I know of anyway. And adults too. There are adults who always have a little bit of fairy magic in their heart. Um, and not really fairies, but unicorns definitely. But that sort of mystical realm um, definitely is a bit of me. Um, I know Calamity was saying, um, Crafty Calamity has a channel um, for Hunky Dory as well. And I know she was saying she would love to see um, a nice sort of vampire kit, you know, sort of modern gothic and uh, i think that would be really cool i would definitely be into that as well um maybe around about halloween maybe we'll get something like that who knows um but there we go that's that's just what me and calamity like um not that i know her personally i only know her for youtube and uh, she has got a lovely channel and i really do enjoy watching what she does um and she has different kits to me as well i know she did um a fairy one I think was the last one to go up I haven't watched that one yet because um, I haven't watched a lot of YouTube today with being out and everything but um, definitely on my little watch list to watch um, but that's it for today sorry I'm, I'm wittering on again and um, I'll see you next time but until then happy crafting bye bye